eating an ice cream cone as big as her face, my grandmother turns to me and says, when I think of all the ice cream and pie, I gave up for some goddamn man. We call my grandmother Grom, which is short for Grommaire, which is French for washer as heck, ain't no nana. When I was a kid, I would sit cross-legged on the pink tile next to her makeup stool, watch her put on her face, pull her rollers out, wrap her hair big as Texas, and say, in my next life, I'll have fat hair and thin thighs. She is the matriarch of the family, the big boss the La Lecha League leader. She's got a pot of stew cooking just in case you come by. She'll buy all your Girl Scout cookies, bail you out of jail, but best believe she will correct you on your politics. When I was 18, I ran home to tell her I'd won my first poetry slam, and she said, Baby Lauren, I always knew you'd be the family writer. As I held her hand in the neurologist office, as the doctor confirmed that the mild cognitive impairment was now full-blown Alzheimer's, she shrunk down in her chair like a small child and said, well, my friend Judy had that, and she got to run around the neighborhood naked. <laughs> when she called at 3 in the morning to say that she was getting ready for the Christian women's conference happening in the living room, and all those women were out there being catty, to each other, but luckily Matthew McConaughey was there to keep her company. We laughed, and she laughed. Her sharp wit cutting itself, the brain is a fickle museum, a maple curio case full of glass shelves. Each day she stands in front of the case, rearranges the photos, the intricate shrine of dolls and family, places hairspray lids upside down so that they'll have a drink of water, moves lines up the hand embroidered flower patches, the protest buttons, 59 cents on the dollar. Women make policy, not coffee. She runs her hands through her silver hair and says, when did David leave me? When did my arms get so old? What man is gonna love a woman with earthworms in her arms? Each day she looks for her keys asks why we won't let her drive, promises she's not crazy. She's never even had a ticket in her whole life, Grom. You are not crazy. Your brain is just an art gallery rearranging its favorite exhibit. Everyone will be here soon. You don't have to go anywhere, Grom. You are not crazy. Your brain is just a cedar chest full of quilts. We are taking them all out and hanging them in the sun, Grom. You are not crazy. Your brain is just a kitchen full of women telling stories. We'll make every dish your hands remember, Grom. This is your house now, remember, Grom. This is Lauren. Remember your granddaughter, the family writer. She stares through me like she's trying to grab hold of a steering wheel. Well, God knows we have a lot to write about.